Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Motorsport Manager. This is episode number 30. It's the penultimate race of the season. It's also going to be the penultimate race of the series, as well, it's, it's been long enough. It, it has. So we are ready for race day in Rio. Specifically, it's the Brazilian Grand Prix. We're going to switch this off to our one-stop strategy, which is going to be on the soft compound. That's going to give us our 30% bonus throughout the race. And we qualified well pretty much for the first time all season without aid of foul weather. It's been dry and both cars for the first time at least in the dry have managed to get out of q1 the ferraris are definitely the quickest car this race weekend but mercedes not far behind and then that's where the gaps begin to open up we have one red bull one Renault in the third row with the other two in the fourth racing point has control over the fifth row and then the field really starts to split up from there. It looks like a number of cars in the back end are going to go on the medium compound, which, yes, that means they're going for the one-stop strategy, but outside of Kubica, they all use the mediums to make that happen. So, interesting choice. Uh, we do have Wickens in 19th on the uh, Super so we're going to have to keep an eye on him, make sure he doesn't get off to a tremendous start. He's the only one at the back of the grid that has opted to do so. But here we are in Brazil. Let's go racing. See if it, oh, hello, hello. Well, interesting start to the race. The lights go out and the screen goes away. Uh, Vern looked like he had a, a good start. Verstappen not quite so fast off the line, but he found a little gap to the left side of the train of cars and has so far managed to turn that into a decent start as he is in 15th, Vern in 20th. And Wiccan's the one we really want to keep an eye on, and at the moment he is ahead of us and actually has had a really good start. So the the toothpaste, blue and white, of the Williams, he is all the way up into 10th place to start this race. So that's kind of the last thing we wanted to see as we are very much in these final two races going head to head with the Williams. Trail by about five points. Haas we still have a slight chance at. Uh, other teams behind us still have a slight chance if they accumulate a ton of points in these last two races. You know, like podium style points. But otherwise, we're looking at a clear competition between us and Williams to get into ninth place in the Constructors. And we've definitely got a shot at it. Uh, but it's not going to be easy. Botas had an excellent start to this race to get about four seconds clear of the grid. It's Gasly who's second, so Vettel had a really poor start. Big lockup through the field on that one. Uh, Verstappen's going to take a little bit of tire wear. You got Ricardo and Perez. That's where the problem started as they collided with one another. And then everybody behind suffered for it. Verstappen down to 19th, and Kubica, of all people, in the Williams up to 18th. Uh, Perez has had to stop, so he had damage. His tires were fine. He does not change his tires, surprisingly, and that's going to hold Perez back even further as he's down to last place, and we'll still have to stop before uh, too many laps go by. Uh, we're back above Kubica into 17th, but it is Wickens we need to watch out for, and he's all the way up in 11th, so hopefully he'll keep drifting back Norris. Stroll, Grosjean, hopefully those guys can all get around him. Let's go ahead and speed things up for a little bit as Kubica goes back on by Rosberg. drive through penalty, causing a collision. And Stroll is caught up in something as well, if not together. Yeah, they're both going back into the pits. I think that was with one another. And it looks like we're going to reclaim that position. We also need to back off to make sure we do not overheat these tires. That happened really quick where they went from neutral. Ooh, Vettel causing a collision as he tries to go around Timo Glock. 
Glock's got a problem, but Vettel is a lot worse. He's got damage, and he flat spotted his tires really, really bad, so that's going to drop him all the way down to the back of the order. So the Ferrari starts from pole and then has just a horrendous beginning to the race. Looking very Vettel-esque of late. Verstappen, unforced error there, locks up. Same corner, that seems to be the main place that uh, drivers are running into problems. So Verstappen up into the points for now. Of course, it's Wickens we really need to keep an eye out for. And he's all the way up in ninth place after a really, really strong start from him. He started right in front of Verstappen on the grid. And yet, after that really good start, is in a strong position to do well. But of course, he is going to have the extra stops. But right now, he looks like he could actually potentially take the race lead if he can get ahead of Cassidy temporarily with uh, all the cars in front of him that started on the used super softs while well, he's got the fresh ones that power advantage won't last for too long for him but it certainly will for a little while so hopefully he doesn't get too far away from us burns down to 19th as Raikkonen gets by in the Alfa Romeo already 35 seconds behind Botas but Botas has a 10 second lead so really then you got to start the comparison from about Gasly on back who is already far enough ahead of Verstappen to pit and come out ahead and it's only lap number nine. Tires still a little hot, we need to back off. Burns far enough back that we're going to actually really back off. He's got about a seven, eight second gap behind him to those that have already pit, plus Rosberg, who's had the drive through penalty. So Vern is essentially running last, just behind Raikkonen and Verline and Kibitza, and really Verstappen, he's not that far back, so. Magnussen pits. So the front runner is already beginning to pit here on just lap 10. The back end of that is backed up enough, close enough, that we are going to get ahead of those guys. And let's see, where did... Oh, that was Leclerc. Leclerc just pit. He comes out. He'll have another stop to make. Comes out right behind Vettel. Vettel's going to start making his way through. He's already caught up to Vern. We had a seven-second gap a moment ago, and that's gone. Time to conserve some fuel for Verstappen. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and run neutral. I'm going to keep Vern backed up. Ricardo pits now. He was a bit higher up the order, but he still comes out behind even Vern. Ericsson pits again, his second. So that messes up the Alfa Romeo's day. He's going to be too far back to really contest, especially with another pit stop coming for him later on. Lap 13. Gasly into the race lead as Botas stops for the first time, comes out in fourth place, is only eight seconds back, so he'll definitely return to the race lead once those guys pit. Meanwhile, we have caught up to the Haas, and we make a move... And we finish it off even on just neutral. So there you go. Verstappen up into 12th ahead of Grosjean. And just one second behind Magnussen. That's a good move for us. Wickens in 9th. We're now 12th. It's only 8 seconds separating us. But we really need to keep an eye on that contest between these two guys. Uh, Glock Pitts comes out 6th. Ocon back up into fifth. Gasly is fourth after they've already stopped. Botas back into second. After his stop, you got Hamilton and Sainz still have not pit. Speaking of Sainz, it is his dad, Carlos Sainz Sr., who just won the DACA rally after uh, fan favorite Alonso managed just 13th. Not DACA. Dakar. <laughs> Thinking of the American system that's a mess. So 
So Vern's in 18th after a round of pit stops. He's ahead of Rosberg, but nobody else. Got around Raikkonen there, so there you go. Leclerc also passing Raikkonen. Ricardo's gone ahead of us, though. So we're in a bit of a mix. A bit of a mess back there for Vern. Tire wear is not looking too good, really. Uh, we're down to 40% already. And we need to get 26 laps out of these, or at least 25. Seven to go. I'm not sure we're going to make it that far. And these should have easily made it. 25-26. As they should have been good enough to go into the low 30s. So it's possible we might have a two-star in our hands. That's going to really mess up our day. Right now, Verstappen is all the way up into 11th place as Hamilton pits from the race lead, finally giving the lead back to Botas. Hamilton's going to come out in second, so delaying his stop has really paid off as he's moved up the order two to three spots to get into second. Gasly just behind him and already on a quarter used super soft so Gasly's strong start is already fading. Glock in the fourth now. Ocon signs. Cassidy has not pit yet. Wickens is about to pit here really soon. Wickens needs to come in. Uh, he is 10 seconds ahead of us. That's pretty unfortunate. That's a sizable margin. Back to neutral. Neutral. Stay on neutral. Neutral. We are getting a little bit closer now. 34%. Lap 20. Hopefully we can hold out long enough to keep this a one-stop race. Hulkenberg behind us has already pit. Definitely not racing him in the head-to-head, -head, but we did lose a bit of ground to Magnuson. Okay, Wickens pits. He is behind us. Hopefully Vern... Ah, Vern can't get ahead of him. Second and a half back, so Vern can't put pressure to hold up Wickens. That's dangerous because he's only just behind his teammate Kibitza. But look at that. Wickens has gone with the super softs. So he is definitely going to be stopping again for certain. So we have an eight second gap over him. Vern down to 28%. It's only lap 22. It's going to be awfully close. I think we might have to run into, like, off the cliff a little bit, lose a few seconds to save a whole pit stop. Okay, Vern, you are going to be pitting soon. You have a good balance on your fuel loads. So let's go ahead and push a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Max currently running in 10th, but he looks like he is the next one to pit of the top 10, so he'll he'll be dropped down the order before he moves up at all again. Grosjean's going to have to pit soon, even though he's on the mediums. is going to have to pit soon, but not quite as soon as us. Verline's going to pit soon. Vern, of course, is going to end up pitting first. He's down at 22%, but it is lap 25 now. It's lap 25, but not for us. We're still on 24. Race leader. Valtteri Botas closing up on lapping us. We're going to get one more lap for Vern, so it's time. Attack, 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 attack. He's already passed pit road, so we're going to pit this time. So we should make this one-stop strategy work, but it's only going to just work. He's getting 25 laps, but we're going to finish the race at least a lap down. So 25, 25 gets us to 50, plus a lap down, 51. That's Verline ahead of us. That is for position, and Verline has not pit yet. So we are ahead of Raikkonen and Rosberg. Those are the only ones ahead of us. It's a good stop. That is a good stop. Okay, he's got that lap of fuel worth to burn now. Comes out in 22nd. He's still ahead of Rosberg, still ahead of Ericsson. Rosberg just pit at the same time, so we're five seconds ahead of him. Meanwhile, Max at 20%. Oops, slow this down for a second. He's... Oh! Passed. Oh, he just passed pit road. I tried to click pit real quick. I should have paused. He's going to have to go around one more time. Let's attack this lap. 
we'll give them fresher tires to the end of the race, but this lap could be a little bit slow. We're going to have to keep an eye on the pace right now. We're actually, the last lap, three tenths quicker. This lap, we're still quicker by nearly two tenths after sector number one. Still quick after sector two, half a second up from our normal pace. So attacking this lap is working, especially turning up the engine mode. So we're hanging in there as Max heads around into pit road. And it's a good stop, so we did not lose time. We didn't wait too long. We're okay. So Max comes out in 18th. That is out of the points, but he's done with pit stops for the day. Meanwhile, Vern moves up a spot as Perez stops again. Perez is still going to end up having to pit again on those super stops. So we're looking pretty good in some of the battles. Vern, I don't think he's going to get high enough to get back in the points. If he does, it's going to be only just. Meanwhile, Max still on the lead lap. Vern, 13 seconds behind, is a lap down. So... Race later, Valtteri Bottas is getting pretty close to us in the Ferrari. Gasly's about to pit again. Magnussen's about to pit, so we're going to start to get back some of those. Raikkonen and Verline still have not pit. Leclerc is ahead of Verstappen. Wickens is right back at 10 seconds ahead of us, but again, he will have to pit a second time. So if we can keep him roughly 10 seconds away when he does pit that second time, that'll put us ahead. Back to times four speed for a little while. It's lap 30 already, though. Stroll's going to pit again soon, so we don't have to worry about him. He's right behind us. That is a battle for position, but he is approaching an in lap here in the near future. Leclerc ahead of us will pit again soon. Raikkonen and Verline will pit. Here's Kubica into the pits. Oh, Fern! He's behind. Fern's behind him. Four, just over four seconds, four and a half seconds down. Here's the race leader, and Verstappen's going to drop a lap now. Both Ferraris are here. Vettel's the one who's got around, and that was actually for position. Vettel was still behind us after all that? He's a whole lap down to his teammate. Wow. Or just about. Okay, Botes gets around. This ahead of us is Leclerc on used tires. So one way or another, we will be passing Leclerc. But for now, I think we might have the pace to uh, get around him. We're going to turn up the engine mode a little bit. Feeling a little pressure behind as well from Grosjean. And Grosjean probably won't make it the distance but he might so we gotta try to stay ahead of him and for now we do did somebody just pit stroll's got a problem stroll colliding with somebody and he's punctured grosjean has spun big gap opening behind verstappen Vern's up to 18th verstappen into 15th so we're back up into the points and still plenty of cars ahead of us to pit. Ricardo just came out of the pits a little bit ago on super softs. Will he make it the distance? I don't know. Vettel, who has stopped three times, is good to go. That's why he just came back around us. He's already seven seconds clear for the Ferrari. Well, no surprise there. He's fast, but he's only in 12th. Botas, uh, 10 seconds clear of Hamilton for the lead. Botas looks like he will have to pit again. Hamilton's might make it. Clock might make it. Maybe not. Ocon might make it. Maybe not, but he's 30 seconds back. Three car race, depending on pit stops. Ocon, Signs, Gasly. Signs will definitely pit again. Hulkenberg will definitely pit again, or looks like he'll definitely pit again. Cassidy, good to go. Wickens, pitting, and pitting fairly soon. Just a few more laps. Norris may be good to go. Ricardo, it's going to be close. Leclerc pits up to 14th. 
and 17. Can Vern get into the point and hold it? It's Kubica ahead of him. Kubica is on the super softs. There's a chance that he may end up pitting again. And definitely those tires should fall off near the end. So if we stay really close, can Vern get around Kubica and get that position one step closer to the points? Grosjean might be a little out of reach, five seconds ahead. But his tires are a little more used than Vern's, so maybe same thing. Alright, time for you to back off a bit. We should be able to keep Verline at bay. Perez, Leclerc could be a little bit harder. Perez, though, those tires are already going to fall off, so it's more Leclerc that's a threat to us. Five seconds behind. Wickens has got to pit soon. He has opened up a few more seconds, 14 seconds now. So he's added about three to four seconds of the lead, but that's better than the 10 he had on the first stint. And should put us in range to uh, keep him behind us later on. I saw yellow sector three, didn't see. Vern, 15 seconds behind. And it's lap 41. No one into the pits this time. Hamilton just now making his way up to where Verstappen is. So Botas in the lead passed us quite a while ago. Botas ap approaching the point in time that he would have a chance to win this race, even if Hamilton is able to make his one stopper work. Botas pits from the race lead, and so does Wickens. Wickens comes out in between Verstappen and Vern, like last time, but unlike last time, he has definitely moved up from where Vern was. So he's certainly quicker. He's still in the points. 15th. We're stepping up to 13th. If we can keep Wickens behind us, that is our race goal. So we will give it everything to try to keep Wickens behind us. And speaking of, we are back on the lead lap for now. We're going to back off a little bit. Go neutral, neutral. However, where is... Oh, Hamilton. Hamilton's the race leader right now, but he's likely to pit again. But Botas only two seconds back. That's what I was talking about. Where even if Hamilton does stay out, I think uh, Botas might be able to get him. He's caught up to him already. Two tenths of a second behind. Botas, one tenth of a second behind, and he's gone around. Botas, just like that, fresh tires, retakes the lead. He's burned through 17% already in a very short amount of time. So we'll be right back to half a lap worth of fuel to spare. Yes. Verstappen's tire wear is looking good. Vern, <clears throat> it's going to be close again, but he should still be okay. So Max running in 13th, looking ahead. Timo Glock just pit. Hamilton may pit again, but those guys will stay way ahead of us. Gasly's going to pit, but he's way ahead of us. Ocon's good to go. Sainz is good to go. Hulkenberg will pit, and he pits now. He should come out ahead. Can we... Uh, can I see? There we go. Hulkenberg back out on track. And still ahead of us as ex that's for st hey. yeah there you go Hulkenberg good to go he's in tenth uh, if Ricardo pits we'll be ahead of him so we got to keep an eye on that one he's down to thirty seven percent it's gonna be tight but I think he'll stay out Norris is good to go in eleventh Magnuson is good to go in twelfth he's at thirty seven percent. It's a little worse off than Vern, but at this point should be good to go. We're in 13th. That's worth some points. Wickens has moved up to 14th, but he's 8 seconds behind us. He will not catch us before the end of this race. Verstappen should stay ahead of him as long as we don't have any problems. I don't foresee any of these guys necessarily pitting. Hamilton would be wise to stay out till the end. He's only a couple seconds behind. <coughs> pit stop should keep him ahead of Glock but it doesn't guarantee Vern's up to 16th if Kubica pits 
or even if we just catch him, we're less than three seconds behind now. He's down to 21% with a couple laps to go. We might, might be able to catch him. Uh, but that also means we need to turn up the engine now. 0.9 with just a couple laps to go. Max, three seconds behind Magnuson. Can we catch back up to him? We've been behind him all race. It was about one second, and then it backed off to five or six. We're back down to within three. So we do have a chance at beating the Haas car. Uh, Kubica into the points is a bad thing for us because Wickens and Kubica combined will equal the score of Verstappen, and we won't gain anything. So Vern, we're going to really need him to step up here. We gotta keep an eye on that gap. He is. Oh gosh! Already? Already? Doesn't happen. Kubica doesn't pit. He stays out. And so yes, we don't gain anything this race on the Williams. Verstappen does beat Wickens by a solid ten seconds because of the one stop versus two stop strategy. But Fern just misses on the points. And Williams end up matching us, unfortunately. And there you go. He's right behind him now, but it's too late. <laughs> Hamilton does stay up, keeps second. Not a bad race. We didn't lose ground, but we didn't gain ground, which we needed. Wickens had such a strong start to the race. Alright, well, we'll take a quick look here where we're at in the points. See, hopefully scrutineering catches somebody. Does not. No change. Except for Erickson. But Erickson already finished last or close to last. Vettel's recovery only brings him back to 7th. Both ass does claim the win and the fastest lap. And that's going to do it for this episode on the Kaplan Gamer. Verstappen up to 13th now, ahead of Wickens by one point, and Perez. Three points behind with one race to go. Three. So close. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time for our final race. Bye for now.